Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise, and today we are planning in my big happy planner for the week of March 25th through 31st. I have the Live Love Posh Spring Allure sticker book, and I saw these stickers, this color scheme, and it just made me so happy. I feel like it's so bright. We are still in this like mid in between here in New Jersey of winter and spring. The weather can't quite make up its mind and I want some spring goodness in my planner. I also grabbed a couple of pieces of scrapbook paper. This is paper that if you saw my recent um, Timu haul, this paper was part of it. And I had this idea of I have to like figure out the logistics of this because the idea just kind of came to me, but I had an idea of kind of combining these two. The problem is I have to figure out how I want this to look because I was thinking that I would have it sort of cover one of these full box sections and then like cut or rip sort of towards the top. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I don't know how well, I'm explaining it and I want to just get this down somewhat straight here. And then I wanted to do like a cut around here. And one of the challenges that I have to sort of overcome here is that this strip of stickers isn't going to go all the way across both sides of the page. I'll have two strips of stickers because there's two pages of this sticker sheet, but we're not going to have a perfect thing here because I'm doing it in my big happy planner. If I were doing it in my classic vertical happy planner, I would have enough room. So I'm trying to sort of cut this to like give it a little bit of height like that. I don't, I don't know if it's really going to work, but we're going to try because we're trying new things this year on my channel. And this pink isn't even a perfect match, but I think it's pretty. And that's what I like. So we've got a little bit extra width here. I'm gonna try to cut that. Still have a tiny bit more, but I think it's fine. So my thought was, and then I have this little adhesive roller also from Timu. So we're going to get this across. And I'm just trying to decide if I want this to go all the way across as one line or a little bit on like the middle on the left side, maybe the bottom on the right side or something like that. So that's sort of the decision making here. I like that this adhesive roller is small because it makes it easy to go across here. It makes kind of a funny sound. Okay, so I think I'm going to go here and then just have to decide about the other half. So let's take the second sheet here. There are other florals here, except the florals are not on like in the grass. So that's where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, instead of using that other sheet, could I use this? I might be able to use this and still have that other sheet left over. So we'll put this down. You could also probably use a knife to do this, but I think it's faster with the scissor. And I just wanted to sort of add something. I feel like it sound it sounded better in my brain than it looks, but maybe overall, like when it's all said and done, it'll look great. Let's hope. Okay, so this is where I was saying we're gonna have a little bit of the issue because of the width. So before I put this down, I wanna see what my other options are here sticker wise. I was thinking the bicycle might be fun, but I think that whatever I put over here might have like a very obvious gap. One option, let's see how this would look, is 
this, but if I put this over the pink, I think it might work because then let's kind of play with this together. It'll look like this is the flowers are like leading into it. I don't know with the wheelbarrow. So I think maybe we just do that and let go of the perfection because I could probably spend all day brainstorming this. And it's like, you know, sometimes you have an idea in your head of something that might look cool and it doesn't always look great when you put it down. That's sort of how I'm feeling now, but I think that it's going to be fine. I feel like if someone was glancing at this, it wouldn't be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that she put those stickers down, even though she doesn't have the full width of the planner pages. Like, that's a good question to ask yourself. And that's what I try to ask myself sometimes. It's a little bit different because I'm doing it here publicly. But when I'm questioning myself as a creator, or even just as a decorative planner, what's the absolute worst that can happen by me putting a sticker down that doesn't perfectly fit. Like this is, this is not a real life problem for me anyway. That's a, that's a perspective type of thing. All right. So we're going to put this down, but because I'm going to have to cut part of the wheelbarrow off, I'm just going to put the adhesive right down on the page. And I know that those dots don't match up again, letting go because it's not that deep. And we'll cut right here. All right. It's a little obvious now. I think when when it's all said and done, it won't be that bad. Um, okay. Next up, I feel like I need to put some of those supplies away because I all of a sudden had a lot out on my desk. I probably want to cover up these lines because I feel like I don't need to see those. And then, okay, I think, yeah, that definitely looks better. It makes such a difference when you do that. Now, the rest of this should be pretty simple. It won't just be boxes and checklists, but boxes and checklists are my main functionality. So we will do a little bit of other things in here, but that's probably going to be like the main. So I have my Happy Planner stencil and I'm going to come down and get these across. Let's move this over. I also need to look at my planner. I'm like, wait a second, what's actually happening this week? I know my brother's birthday. I know I have a neurologist appointment. Um, and possibly a couple of other things. Easter, I know is Sunday. I don't personally celebrate Easter. I had this question in a recent video when I mentioned on YouTube that I don't celebrate Easter. The reason I don't celebrate it is because I'm Jewish. So it's just not my, it's not my religion. I don't have an aversion to it. It's just not my religion. Um, but in the past, I have celebrated Easter with other people in my life. And um, I think one of the beautiful things about religion and varying religions is sharing those with people who you love. I had a really good friend growing up and I would always spend Easter and Christmas at her house and she would always spend Passover and Hanukkah and other holidays at my house. So um, it's it was always really fun to be able to share in our family traditions. I am going to continue to put checklists for Saturday and Sunday. Um, lately, sometimes I've been able to fill up these checklists with to-dos. Sometimes I haven't. It really just depends on how busy the weekend ends up being. And I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional, my word of the year, about allowing, this is going to sound like an oxymoron, being intentional about spontaneity. <laughs> and I know that sounds absurd, but hear me out while I look for box stickers that I wanted to use here. We, I, I am a planner, right? If you are watching this, it's likely that you are a planner as well. However, not everyone in our lives are planners. And there's some control that we have over those, right? If you have a family who lives in your home with you and you kind of run the schedule, you may have that ability 
to plan out everyone else's schedules. And maybe not. That's not always, that doesn't always work. Because I live alone, any social events that I have, unless I'm like with planner friends, <laughs> tend to be less planned, right? So uh, I've talked about this before, but if I want to spend time with my brother and his kids or um, go on a date or spend time with friends, that all depends on other people's plans and other people's availability. So I may have in my head, I'm going to spend all day Saturday filming YouTube videos, but if plans come up, if an opportunity comes up to actually leave my house and do something social, that's going to take priority for me because I don't want to say it's more important than YouTube because work is work. However, there's a reason that I have a full-time job. And that is because um, when life gets busy, I don't want to ever say like, I can't come to this because I have to film a YouTube video. Like that's where I don't want to do it. I have been, things have been good. Like I've been able to stay on top of my videos. I haven't been as ahead on my videos as I typically am and I like to be, but it's also all right because life has been busier and I'm okay with that. So sometimes it's letting go of the plans and the perfection, like the expectation of perfection and just kind of going with the flow. Okay, so we have Monday. I have some Planner Kate stickers here. I've misfit Monday. And then I also grabbed these weekday header stickers because I think that these always add such a fun pop. I will, whoops, that was crooked. I will link these in the description of the video. I think they're called weekday labels, maybe because I've had a couple of questions recently that they didn't, that you didn't see the link in the description, but um, I will be sure to link them. And of course, at Planner Kate, code Elise 20 will give you a discount. All right, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I have used these a lot. We've got only four left here. We have six left here. Hopefully these come out in more colors. All right, I've got those down. I am going to take a Warehouse Wednesday sticker for Wednesday's Planner Kate Warehouse Wednesday. And should we continue with the purple and the blue? I feel like that might work. Red also might work here. My problem with red is that I don't want the red and the blue to look too much like 4th of July. So what would be another option? I could probably go with green. I totally also had plans on stenciling. Um, I did stencils recently in my big and I loved it. This is a pretty green. I think we'll do this. But I'm actually recovering from a migraine today. Right now my, my head is fine, but um, I'm in a little bit of a migraine hangover and my pain level is probably like a three out of 10, which isn't much, but it means that sometimes my motor skills and my word retrieval gets a little bit glitchy. <laughs> so I felt like it's enough to film the video. I don't know that I need to, um, stencil. We're just gonna we're just gonna film the video. How about this? Grow your own garden right there. And then instead of double boxes here, I think we're going to bring in, this might be cute, but it's gonna be too tall, I think. So I might have to trim it. Let's put this down pretty much as low as I can while still having a little bit of room. Got a little bit of ripping there. Yes, we do have to trim this. Let's grab a scissor. Make this a little bit smaller because I wanted there to be some white space. Just like that. Oh, look how cute that is. It's fun. Having a little bit more fun with boxes, playing around a little bit more than I might usually. Okay, so going back here, maybe I can add a little bit of a flower 
onto a box or even a rainbow. I'm leaning towards this. I really like this. It's going to be too big for I'm trying to find my scissors. There we go. It's going to be too big to put fully. So I'm just going to take a little piece of it and put it over here. I'll put this right, right there. I like that. Now I'll put this other extra piece down here and then we can continue. So Thursday is my brother's birthday and I thought, oops, sorry for the shaky desk. I have Live Love Posh, posh Party here and birthday. We'll take this birthday sticker. Come on. Wait a second. Oh, it is Friday. Wait, Thursday's my brother's birthday. Okay, Friday's an appointment. Sorry, I got myself all confused. And then this sticker book also has these here. So we're going to do I feel like I need my tweezers for this. I usually do my alphabet letters with Alpha Basics, but this is what I happen to have next to me. So this is what we're going to use. Um, but we need, let's see, put this here. Luckily, my brother's name is Short. Well, I guess his nickname is Short. I mean, his name is technically Joshua, but not many people call him by that. here. And I was originally going to do an apostrophe S, but I only have, I don't have any S's left unless there's two on here, two in this book. That's where my, again, you you might hear my migraine hangover brain is, uh, is impacting me a little bit. We do have another S. So I think what I'll do is put that there. I'm going to have to let that dry. Actually, this clear sticker, because these have quite a big, wide, clear cover on them, but this should kind of cover it and almost protect it. Even though it's gonna be a little crooked. There we go, so now I don't have to wait for it to dry. And we'll put this here, Josh's birthday. Perfect. Okay, Posh Party can now go to the side. I don't need that out. I have one green box of this size left, so we'll put this right over here and maybe I can take this as part of it. I don't know if I wanna show the border or not. I'll show a little bit of the border, although that doesn't really give me much room to write. This box may need to just stay blank. Friday, I mentioned I have a neurologist appointment, so I'm going to put this here, but I also would like to give myself another box. Actually, yeah, because if I end up having plans at night, I'd like the ability to write down both things. So let's take one of these smaller green boxes and then go back to um, maybe these and just put, oops, no, I folded that over. There we go. Put this here and just put some flowers in between the two. And that's where I'll put down my neurologist appointment. Okay, things are good, right? This is, this is working. Now, technically I would need to put a green box down here. I think the only green one I have has lines. So we're gonna go with the lines. I feel like I had, an, oh, I do have another one. I remembered that when green boxes was restocked, I had picked up another set of it. So there should be, there we go. We've got another, a green and we'll put something in here. Let's see, before I put this down, let's kind of check the height on, on these. Um, mm, I like the rain boots. 
I think I'm gonna take this rainbow sticker with collect beautiful moments and actually cut off the collect beautiful moments since I have that quote elsewhere with the rain boots. We'll put this back. Or I could put this down with the quote. I think we'll do that. Let's hope that I have some sort of beautiful moment <laughs> on Saturday. And now the rain boots can go maybe somewhere else right there on Monday. Perfect. Now for Sunday, let's do a full purple box. And I'm going to take in full bloom. If you watched my classic video for this week, I put a lot of boxes for my niece and nephew's soccer schedule. Um, I filmed that video ages ago. And when I put that down, it didn't occur to me that they wouldn't have games because of Easter weekend. So that will have to be changed. But the good news is I used Planner Kate stickers for those. And those are really easily removable. All right. Next up, we're going to take Say It With Flowers and cut it. going to put with here as the middle. Say it with flowers. It doesn't look as cute as the yellow, but it still looks pretty good. Okay, next up, I feel like this is coming out really cute. It's like a good combination of my norm, but also maybe a little bit different. I want to put this down here, this little bicycle. We'll trim the edge. And then I'd like a full sidebar. But before we do that, maybe another quote. Just keep blooming. I don't know if this is wide enough. It might be. Yeah, because this is a big, you get a little bit more room for quotes like that on the sidebar. So I'm just going to cover up the note right here. And I think we'll do, I don't know if I want to do a purple or a green sidebar. It won't be big enough to do that full tall one, but we can put this one here. Like that. I think we're set. The only thing it's missing, if I wanted to, is put in bullet points. Um, maybe yellow. Maybe yellow would be a nice little pop here. It can't hurt, right? And the yellow, I'm partial to because when I use my yellow dot marker, it doesn't usually bleed through since it's one of the lighter colors. And then it makes the other yellows. My video cut off, but it's probably a good thing because I was rambling. So anyway, I was doing dot markers over here and noting about Planner Kate discount code Elise 20, Live Love Posh discount code Elise 10. I think we're all set. I really love how this came out. Um, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you next time.